Hello everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back for another Ipsy unboxing. If you guys are not familiar with Ipsy, they are a beauty subscription service. There's the Glam Bag where you get five deluxe sample size products. There's the Boxy Charm where you get five full size products. And then there's the Icon Box where that gets delivered every three months. That box is curated by a celebrity and you get eight full size products. As always, I like to say upfront that Ipsy has very kindly gifted me these boxes to share with you guys so thank you so much to Ipsy but today we are going to be going through October's glam bag and boxy charm and I always like to start with glam bag first this month's theme is beauty nightmares and this is the bag design very spooky first is by toy factory and this is the hyaluronic oat milk oil makeup remover. To use this, you just pump this onto a cotton pad and gently swipe over face. I think that this is so cute and I definitely am going to keep and try this one out. I've been using the same makeup remover for a while now and while I do like that, I use a micellar cleansing water. I definitely want to try something different and see if there are other products that are better at taking off my makeup. So we are going to keep this one. Next is a lip liner by Beauty For Real. They have included this brand before. This is the Define lip liner in the color neutral. It's just a very pretty natural kind of like pinky red color and I'm just a sucker for those colors. I am going to keep and try this one out. I have to be better at using lip liners though. I just kind of forget about them and I want to try this one out and see how this looks. Next is by Dew of the Gods. They have included that brand before and I do like that brand. This is the Sorbet Mini Hyaluronic Lip Butter. This is definitely different. They haven't included this for me before, but this is in the color Strawberry Mandarin. This definitely seems more like a summer product, but I don't care because I like getting lip products anyways. Oh, it smells really good. It definitely smells like strawberry, but I thought that this would have a color to it. It just looks like it's clear, but I'll definitely keep this product and I think it's a really good product to just throw in your purse. I have been keeping in my mind that I need to pick up a new lip balm, so we are going to use this one too. Next is by Bobbi Brown and this is the Vitamin Enrich face base. I don't think I've used this primer before. I definitely am going to be keeping this one. I do like Bobbi Brown and sometimes they sneak Bobbi Brown in here so I'm very excited to try this one out. I hope it works well. And then lastly for the glam bag is by Moonslice Beauty. I don't think that they've included this brand before that I could remember but this is just a blush. It's just a really pretty pink color. I don't know if I am going to be keeping this blush though because I do like the more cream liquid blushes. Some powder blushes I do keep but I think I will pass this one on. Next we are going to move on to BoxyCharm and the first product that I see is by Clara's New York. This is the Advanced Serum Vitamin C Plus Vitamin E. This is supposed to to be brightening, minimizes enlarged pores, and corrects uneven skin tone. I need to be better at using serums, and I'm really bad at it. <laughs> but I do have a bunch of serums. I'm a little bit undecided about this, I'm not gonna lie. Not that I don't wanna try this one out because I am bad at using serums. I'm like, ooh, should I? have this in my collection. Kind of want to keep this though and see if this works well. So this one, I'm a little undecided. I am leaning towards keeping this, but I'll have to see how many serums I have in my collection. Next is by Tarte and this is the Blush Tape Liquid Blush. And I know I just said I wasn't keeping the last blush, but this one is a liquid blush and this is in the color Peach. I haven't heard of this product before, but I definitely want to try this one out. I really like Tarte. The only thing about this product though is that I don't know how the color is going to look on my face. I feel like it's a little light. I still want to try it out. Oh, this is cool. I don't know if I've ever used a product like this before. I have used something like this for concealer, but not for blush. So this, I definitely want to try. Also, how do you clean this? You just wash it 
with soap, but does the soap seep through? I don't know. I have questions here. Let me know what you guys think in terms of cleaning this. All right, next, 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 we have the Toe Vegan Green Glow Up Cream. I am pretty sure they've included Toe Vegan before. I do want to try this one out. I always like getting moisturizers in these boxes and I could always use another moisturizer. There's not really much to talk about when it comes to this product. I do want to keep and try this one out though. I always like getting moisturizers and I like trying different ones out. So we are going to keep this one. Next is by Kevin Aquan and this is the Unforgettable Lipstick Modern Love Cream. That is the color. I definitely have heard of this brand and this kind of looks like like a mascara tube but this color I feel like this color goes really well with that lip liner I hope that this color also isn't too light for my face sometimes that happens we'll see we're going to try this one out this is kind of like a really pretty like light reddish peachy color I always like getting lipsticks I also think that this is a nice lipstick to kind of just like throw in your bag. It's nice and thin. So we'll see how this goes. All right. Last is by Eloise. And this is called the Goddess Palette. This is an eyeshadow palette. I really like this color in the middle. It's speckled. It's called Divine Aura. I think it's just so pretty. I, I think all the colors in here are really pretty. I love the blues. Usually you guys always hear me say like I have too many eyeshadow <laughs> shadow palettes at this point. And with this, I really like the colors, all of them. This one's really pretty too. This one's called Heavenly Grace. And this blue, it's so lovely. So I'm gonna have to see with the eyeshadow collection and see if I can squeeze this one in here. All right, that was it for the Ipsy October unboxing and which box or bag did I like the most. Honestly, it's kind of hard to choose for this month because I really like a lot of the products. I was honestly, pleasantly surprised by the set of products because sometimes I feel like after a really good month, the following month, some of the products I'm not really as like passionate about. And with a lot of these, I am very excited to try them out. And I feel like I'm keeping most of them. That is it for this month's unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you guys for watching and thank you again to Ipsy for kindly gifting me the BoxyCharm and Glam Back to talk about. I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.